All right, looks like protesters are uh, sliding wood across the river to help keep the folks getting soaked on the front line warm. Sending it. Cops put out one fire, but everyone made a new one, and it seems like everyone's pretty determined to hold, to hold their ground. They're still sliding wood across. Awesome. Grab it. This is a pretty incredible thing to see. For those of you at home, it's probably kind of hard to tell uh, how cold it is, but it is definitely below freezing out here. I think they're back in the fire truck. What? Yeah! Oh, yeah. You're good, dude. Man. The one thing I gotta say is that people's determination to stay out here is very impressive. Um, I've seen people just getting soaked completely to the bone all night. It's below freezing. Camping conditions are already very rugged. There's no warm showers. Uh, for people to be out here like this, it shows a lot of resolve. And uh, and there's just so much solidarity. I mean, there's there's a lot of folks that are right on the front line uh, confronting the police, but then there's hundreds and hundreds of people on the bridge, behind the bridge, probably going back a full mile. Uh, as sort of an uh, um, in, in, in auxiliary force, um, bringing in uh, medical treatment, uh, warm blankets, uh, uh, firewood, emergency blankets. I mean, people are, are really organized and really looking out for each other. Um, from what I've seen, the protesters have stayed completely nonviolent. Uh, the police have been especially aggressive, um, and and it's just continuing. Um, we got the fire department finally showed up, but they're not rendering any help to the people that probably have hypothermia or injured from tear gas and rubber bullets and flashbangs. And uh, and it looks like we're on our own, but uh, folks are taking care of each other. So I'm very I'm very impressed. Um, I don't think I've ever seen a display of solidarity like this, uh, at least not recently. I mean, this is never. This is this, this is incredible to see. Try that. Police seem to have a lot of vehicles themselves. Not sure what they're doing with all their support. Um, but, I don't know. Um, one thing to note is that police never made uh, an official order for people to get off of the, the grass here. 
They told people to get off the bridge. That was the only order I ever heard them give. Yet they've been attacking uh, unarmed uh, protesters here for hours now. Um, not sure what their orders are exactly, but they're not making them clear to the crowd. And they don't seem like they really want to resolve this. They're spotlighting me now. I don't know, maybe he doesn't want us to film or something. But um, they're being incredibly aggressive. And, and they don't seem like they're going anywhere. It appears like they don't want me to film, so they're trying to spotlight. Um, I don't know what the point of that is. Can you not see this already with those giant lights? Um, you know, we're in the techno and shit. Maybe they just want to get a picture of my face. Oh, is he trying to make me a camera? No, I think they're trying to black their faces. <laughs> Oh, uh, that could be it. Your faces, we can't see you. Y'all are all silhouettes. What are you? What are you guys' orders? You're like, in, uh, you know, the mystery. We can't even see your faces. That clear shit. Keep, keep blinking, man. All right. They're not giving clear instructions to the protesters about what they want them to do. They're just attacking them, and uh, and they're not really discriminating between uh, women. Young people, press, uh, they're attacking everyone, uh, pretty much everyone that's out here. And, 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 there, and there, there's hundreds if not thousands of people out here. Um, and as you can see, the crowd's non-violent. You know, they're dancing around. They're, they're speaking their peace. You know, like I said, people are saying non-violent, but the, the police are indiscriminately shooting into the crowd. They're not concerned if people have eye or ear yeah. protection. They're not concerned Maybe about what kind of injuries. I'm sure there's lots of injuries. Um, <laughs> but on we go, on we go. This is incredible. Can you tell me a little bit about it, man? Just sitting here praying peacefully. And if it's spraying them with water. And they're nearly hypothermic. Have they given them any sort of orders to leave? They're just attacking? No. I haven't heard one order. Don't you have children? We're trying here to warm them up. And people are offering their blankets to them. Are we not? All your Trump supporters in your mind. We have the internet now. We can read the shit. Google the shit. It's wicked. See? Based on y'all stealing land from brown people. You've been doing it for thousands of years. It out. These folks have sat down. They're peacefully no demonstrating. They couldn't yeah, be more peaceful. You guys have power for 300 years. Um, they're sitting the down. The Templar, the Banking Commission, the Trilateral Commissions. They're going to fall. Five thousand years. You guys have been doing this. Wake up. It looks like police are bringing in another spotlight. Man, that guy just fired his shot. Point fucking point. Somebody in the eye, no big deal, right? Not fun till somebody gets loose in the eye. How about when somebody loses a life? The bullets can penetrate the octal region of the face, go right into the brain. Don't you guys realize that? Yeah. You can kill us. Come on, the hose! Come Coming on, the, in with the hose. hose! Here we go! Alright, so that makes it pretty apparent that the fire department has actually aided the police in bringing in this fire hose in order to soak these peaceful protesters. This is fucking out of control. Oh man, they are 
shooting it right at the crowd with the fire. They're trying to put out the fire. They are just soaking this huge crowd. I mean, they've been out. Um, that's another book.